larger cyclotrode without the aid of its inventor by copying the model we now have. However, it will take longer and I'll need a lot of money. That's easy. We'll crack a bank. It's much simpler than that, Ash. We still have Chambers' machine, and within its range, it can stop any motor. Tomorrow morning, an armored car will deliver the payroll to the Steel Corporation. Here it comes. Something's gone haywire. Stay on guard while I check the motor. that Professor Chambers' cyclotrode was used to carry out this robbery. You're probably right. But what steps do you plan to take to prevent more outrages? I've already taken one. As you know, heavy water is the key to the operation of the cyclotrone. The supply in the tubes must be almost exhausted by now. And I suppose the Crimson Ghost can't get any heavy water. Exactly. The compound is made only by the Cornwall Chemical Company, and they won't release a drop without my authorization. That's certainly an effective step. But it may be dangerous for you. You're up against a ruthless enemy who will stop at nothing. I realize that, Professor Parker, and I'm taking every possible precaution. I'm glad to hear that. Shall we adjourn, gentlemen? Right. I certainly. Who's there? Professor Richards, you think you have stopped me from getting the heavy water, but you shall soon know how unwise it is to stand in the way of the crimson ghost. You will be... on the table.
Oh, get over there. Get your hands up. It may interest you to know that I heard every word you said. You see, you made the mistake of using chlorotene on that record. I detected the odor and kept my face close to the floor so that I escaped most of the fumes. I had an idea I might be brought to the Crimson Ghost. Now, the police can take over from here.